Hello everybody, welcome back. So again, trudging on through this, uh, I shouldn't say trudging, this is actually quite fun. Um, <laughs> making our way through my makeup collection. So this was gonna be big palettes, but what I've realized is these are all my non Wet n Wild palettes and actually a couple of Wet n Wild palettes thrown in. <laughs> so uh, these are all kind of my bigger palettes um, and we'll go through the smaller ones, which are all wet and wild. I am not going to swatch out every single palette. Obviously, that would be the longest video ever and take up my entire day. But I just want to give you an overview of what I have. I'll give you a brief, uh, my feelings on it, show you the shades in the palette, let you know if you can get it anymore. <laughs> Obviously, a couple of these are limited edition. But uh, yeah, let's just dive right on in. So let's start over here with this Anastasia uh, World Traveler palette. I really, really enjoy this palette. It, um, ooh, when I first got it, uh, it got a lot of use from me. I could definitely dust this out. I haven't used it as much lately just because I've been, you know, playing with other things. But I really like the assortment of shades in here. This pink champagne shade is, well, let's swatch this out just for fun. It is just, look at that. It's like wet, metal, shiny, beautiful gorgeousness. Um, love, love that shade. Over a glitter primer, by the way, it's even, it's just, it's so good. All of these shades are so good. I, I really, I don't hear many bad things about ABH eyeshadows. So you can see it's just a nice mix of shades, cool and warm. Not many mattes, which I don't honestly really mind. These three and the black are matte and the rest are various shades of uh, various kinds of shimmer, but I won't go on too much <laughs> about this because obviously you can't buy it anymore. Although I actually, um, got this on the makeup exchange subreddit. So if you're looking for a palette, you can't find it anymore. It was limited edition. That might be a place to check if somebody might maybe has that in their collection. They don't use it anymore and you can, you can work something out from there. The other limited edition palette I have is, of course, the Vice 4 palette. I know this, you know, well, it got great reviews from some people initially, and then, you know, it kind of fell into the Fallout City, not as good quality as Urban Decay Shadows can be because it's limited edition, all of that stuff. And I suppose all of that is true, but I... I just love this palette. I can't stop using it. Uh, I, I the just so many of these shades. There are a couple that I haven't really played with, like Low, Crowbar. Haven't really gotten into those shades too much, but the rest of them, I just love. Beat Down is one of my favorites. Um, 1989 and Fastball are both awesome. Again, not a ton of matte shades, matte variety. These three here and then um, delete over here are all matte and the rest are glittery or shimmery. But I I love this palette. That's all I got to say about it. Yeah. And I mean, obviously the packaging is freaking awesome. It's freaking awesome. So next up we have the Too Faced Chocolate Bonbons palette. Now this is a palette when I got it, I actually... I, I was disappointed. Ah, there's the chocolate smell, <laughs> which I don't mind too much, except that it always makes me crave some chocolate, which is not always great. But anyway, I got this especially for this shade right here, which is called Earl Grey. I thought that this was just going to be like the best, most amazing smoky eye kind of shade. And honestly, it's it's not really. I mean, you can sort of build it up, but even in a swatch, you can see it comes out more, I was expecting it to be more colorful and more pigmented, let's just say that. And it's not, but that's okay. I have learned to actually really, really love and appreciate 
what this palette has to offer, which is a really nice set of um, neutrals and some little pops of color. I, as you can see from my eyeshadow collection, I am usually drawn to color, so it's nice to have these really good quality mattes, satins, these kind of more neutral shades that I can use. I often, if I don't know what I'm going to do on my face, I'll just grab this and, and, uh, and play. The colorful shades are not the greatest, but the rest of them are good enough that I think it makes up for it. So just be aware if you're looking at this palette and you're looking at that smoky green shade or the hot pink, if you're getting the palette for that, I would say maybe look elsewhere. But if you like the rest of the shades, uh, you know you'll use them, then I definitely, I would definitely recommend this palette. I don't know why I said definitely twice, um, but there you go. I like that. I have learned to love it. All right, over here is actually a palette I think I'll be getting rid of, only because I, I never use it. It is one of the e.l.f. Prism eyeshadow palettes. It's in the shade Sunset, so it has really pretty gold, pink, purple. These are all shimmery shades. Let me swatch out a couple of them. They feel very creamy, almost like they're well, they feel very creamy. That's all you need to know. And, you know, they're not they're not terrible quality. They're definitely fun shadows to work with, but I just I don't reach for it. I have these colors close enough anyway in other palettes that I just I'm I'm not reaching for this. The next palette is from Milani. This is one of the more recent additions to Milani's line. This was new last year. This is the Everyday Eyes Eyeshadow Collection in Bare Necessities. I had the purple one to the plum one, which I got rid of because I just wasn't using it. These are beautiful shades. I'm on the verge of getting rid of this, again, just because I don't reach for it that much, but it is nice to have around, and I would absolutely recommend it. So it's a nicely thought out palette. There are two matte shades. This is a really nice transition shade. Uh, you know, at least if you have a similar skin tone to me, uh, this darker shade, they call, I think they call it the liner shade. So they have on the back of the palette kind of directions and um, ways you can use it. And they've named all of the shades where you would use them. I don't know if that's focusing. It's not, so let's move on. This highlight shade is beautiful. It's a really nice shimmer. I've actually used this as just a straight up highlight before on my face. Um, it's just it's just a really pretty color. The gold is lovely. I haven't used this shimmery brown quite as much. And this highlight shade over here, they call it the specialty shade. They call this actually the base shade. As uh, yeah, great camera work, right? Uh, this is a little bit chunkier and it's a more gold yellow tone where this one uh the first shade is kind of more pink but they're both really pretty i like them this transition shade which they call the contour shade it doesn't swatch very well honestly but it when you actually use this on your eyes or when why should why am i saying that when i use this on my eyes it is the perfect amount of pigmentation and really blendable so it's very very easy to work with so i do like this from reviews i've seen of the rest of these palettes i've you know i've heard good things i've only tried this one and the plum one and i like them both again it's just you know i don't as much as I would love to collect all of them, I, I really don't need to. So this is the only one I have. All right, two uh, palettes from Wet n Wild. So this is the Photo right Studio Eyeshadow Palette, and it is in the shade Coming In Latte. I still see this around. I'm assuming you can still buy it. It's a really great assortment of shades. Uh, if I can get it open. There we go. These are really beautiful eyeshadows. Excellent quality. Let's uh, swatch out a couple of these. Boom. I'm especially impressed with the mattes in here. So 
So again, this is just a nice, oh yeah, that's like almost, almost identical. The elf is a, just a little bit more orange, it looks like. But in any case, this is a great palette. I would recommend it. Very easy to work with and good kind of basic, sorry, that was probably really loud, good basic neutral, excuse me, neutral shades, warm and cool. And then this I've talked about before. This is the All Natural palette in Nude Awakenings. This is more of a rosy toned palette. Again, absolutely beautiful. This has a little bit more matte shades in it and it has a sister palette that's more similar to the shades in here. Uh, so, you know, you have both options. Really beautiful. Like both of them, would recommend both of them. And then last but not least, I have this NYX Butt Naked Underneath It All palette. So in the top here, there are an assortment of lovely eyeshadows. And then you can slide out the drawer in the bottom and there are four blushes and three highlighters. This is a really great palette for travel. You can still buy this on NYX's website. Uh, again, you know, as long as the shades work for you, this is definitely, I think, geared towards pale people. Um, unfortunately, if you're not pale, but I guess fortunately if you are, eyeshadows are really nice quality and there's a good assortment, again, of tone, shades, warm, cool, shimmer. I really like this palette and it goes with me anytime I travel because it's kind of, it's got a lot of what I need. So there's a lot of extra stuff I don't have to take with me. All right, so those were my kind of bigger palettes. So if you have any questions, comments, suggestions, if you want to see a more in-depth focused review on one of these or comparing or anything like that, do let me know in the comments section below and I will be happy to do that for you. In the meantime, uh, check out the rest of my collection videos. I will have a playlist if you want to see what else is lurking around my makeup collection. And I will see you in the next one. Bye!